Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. For today I have an update from the Divine Maculate. We're going to find out how we're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this and find out what's going on with the Divine Maculate and how we're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. <coughs> The Divine Masculine seems to be going through it, okay, if I'm not going to lie here, they seem to be in a very dark place at the moment when it comes to this um, connection. Um, they haven't been feeling your energy, Divine Feminine, and this is causing them a tower moment. They're not sure if this is over or not, they're not sure if you're moving on or not. They do see some type of, like another energy in your life, somebody you may be talking to. Um, if this isn't resonating, like if you're not talking to somebody else, this person is just afraid that you're going to start talking to somebody else. Um, it's really in their fears here, okay? This person gets so many signs about you, but they don't feel any emotion from you at the moment, okay? Especially if you're dealing with Scorpio here. This person, um, they're very guarded, okay, when it comes to showing any type of emotion, but now they're not feeling anything towards, um, now they're not feeling anything from you. They're freaking out, okay? Um, so I'm getting that you may have, you know, been the one to text your Divine Masculine. You may always be the one to reach out to your Divine Masculine. Or it's just like you're always thinking about your Divine Masculine. You're always, you know, giving them energy. You may be even posting um, things on social media in the past, okay, that was showing your Divine Masculine you're not over this. They're not seeing that at the moment. They're freaking out, okay, and they feel like basically this is over, Okay, that you may be concentrating on somebody else. It could be a fire sign here. Yeah, so I'm getting this divine masculine. Um, they could be hiding their feelings. I'm really getting they're either hiding their feelings or they're hiding something. Okay, it could be a lie here. Um, so I'm getting if your divine masculine hasn't even told you how they feel, they're hiding their feelings. But if they have, they could be hiding a major lie here. Or you may have found out about this lie and this has, um, this caused a tower moment in your, it could have just ended everything I'm getting, um, yeah, it caused a lot of imbalance here, um, some of these divine masculine, okay, they haven't even come forward and let you know how they feel, they don't feel comfortable coming forward, they don't feel comfortable showing their emotion, um, and it's like, they're feeling very regretful because they're not really living from their truth at the moment, they're not really living from their authentic self because they're not able to open up to you and they get a lot of signs about you but it's like they ignore these signs, right? This person um, is very... So you could be dealing with somebody that's in the spotlight or somebody that's just well known, I'm hearing. Um, and they like to basically put on a mask, a show here. They like to come off, you know, emotionless, okay? They don't like to bring emotion into the picture, um, but they're feeling very regretful at the moment because they feel like they need a serious opportunity here with you. Like, they really want to move forward, but they don't know how to open up. And it's like this person wants to open up, but they just, they feel like they can't, okay? It's just not comfortable for them. Um, this Divine Masculine is very guarded. They're not, they also feel like a lot of people watch them. So this could be their friend, okay? A lot of people are judging this um, connection here. This could be their friend, their family member, just people in the public, okay? Um, and they're feeling very regretful because it's like some of these divine masculines haven't even made any movement towards you. Um, yeah, they could have made some type of movement, but it was the wrong, the wrong, it was like some type of sexual movement um, towards you. And I'm getting that you were just like, no, you're not having that. Um, but this person, they really, like, you bring out their romantic side, and they don't like to show it, especially in front of other people, but you really bring out their romantic side, right? So this person feels like you have a lot of options, Divine Feminine, they're freaking out. Okay, they feel like that they had two opportunities here with you, and they missed both opportunities. I'm seeing 11-11 on my oven, um clock at the moment, okay, so this person feels a very strong soul connection to you, they can't get over it, okay, uh, they're feeling very, it's like this person may have tried to keep options, they may have tried to, you know, you know, not wanted, wanting, oh my gosh, now I can't talk, I really feel like this divine masculine could have a throat chakra blockage, um, it's like the right words don't come out, 
Also, you may have a communication problem with your Divine Maculate, but I'm getting that they tried to keep options, okay? They didn't want to commit at that time because they had these other options and they thought the grass was green and keeping all these other options, but little do they know. Well, now they know. Now that you cut them off, they know that they don't want these other options. All they do is think about you. Like, all they do is think about this connection um, with you. It's like they've never felt this way before, but they... It's hard for them to vocal, vocalize it, okay, to like actually, you know, tell you about it, right? Some of them have actually put you on a pedestal here. Um, there's something about you, you're very independent, you're very in control, okay? You have a lot of people that want your attention. There's something about you, it's like everything you touch, I'm hearing mind of touch, everything you touch grows. Like, you can transform anything divine feminine. Your energy is very powerful. This divine masculine thing that they put you on this pedestal where they just feel like you're too good for them and they don't feel confident enough to come come towards you, to be very honest with you, okay? Um, I'm getting that they come off as a very confident person, but towards you, they're not confident. Um, they feel like you're very confident. They feel like... They, they basically feel like you have it all divine feminine, um... You could be dealing with a Leo here, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, this person, they do a lot of hiding their feelings, okay? They really want happily ever after with you, but they have a hard time trying to tell you about it. Um, it's like, because they put you on this pedestal, because they've, um, they basically look at you as above them, they don't feel comfortable coming at you, and they could also come off as somebody that's like very confident very proud but and they have a lot of options but when it comes to you you intimidate them okay this person acts like they're happy but they're really upset okay because they can't feel your energy at the moment um yeah but it's like they're acting happy because they know that they did it's like they can't open up here okay they can't open up they know they can't open up they feel like they want to do something very manipulative to try to get your attention here as well. So be careful of that. Divine feminine. Yeah, you have something about you. It's like I'm getting maybe you manifest. I don't know, just something about you. It's like your energy is very strong and your divine masculine can see this. They can feel this. They see that you stand out. They also can see that you're very spiritual. There's something about you that's very strong, Divine Feminine, and this Divine Masculine seeing this. They feel locked out of your life. So your Divine Masculine is having, um, like, their heart, like, their chakras, all of them, okay, are, like, inactive. All of their chakras are inactive, Divine Feminine. So you may want to, like, work on your chakras, because if you work on your chakras, it's working on their chakras as, as well. They have this sense where they feel like you don't need them. Wow, okay, too many, too many. Yeah, they really want this new beginning here. Um, and I'm getting they come off as really confident, but when it comes to you, they just they can't they can't do it. They feel very intimidated by you. I'm getting something about a crow here, okay? Let me know if that resonates for you. This person does a lot of thinking. They do, At the moment, they're doing a lot of research about you. They're doing a lot of thinking. There's something here about their sacral chakra. Like, I'm getting every chakra is inactive apart from their sacral chakra, okay? That could be overactive here. I'm hearing Chandelier, okay? Let me know if that red, um, resonates for you. That is a song, so that could resonate for you. Yeah, this person feels very conflicted because they feel like they've really put you on the pedestal here. They feel like a lot of people are grabbing for your attention. They feel like some of you have really risen to the top here, okay? You've had a major glow up. This person, okay, so they've been doing a lot of research with Divine Masculine, okay, they really want this union, um, I'm getting they know all about the Twin Flame journey, and they're trying to 
work on themselves spiritually for some of them, okay? I'm getting something about a compass, okay? So maybe they're not sure on what direction to go next. They're trying to figure that out. I'm also getting something about those, you know those like fluffy dice that people sometimes hang in their car? Let me know if they resonate for you. Yeah, this person realizes they've been very immature. They came at you in a very immature way. And I'm really getting that this person, they're admiring your spiritual growth and they're working on their spirituality here, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio here. It's like they've tried everything, so now they're trying to open up spiritually, right? You could be dealing with a Leo here, you could be dealing with a strong Scorpio in this reading. Yeah, this person is really evaluating the way that they came off to you. They feel like they came off very cold-hearted, okay? Like somebody that didn't want to show any emotion, somebody that didn't want to commit. You have inspired this person to change into somebody that really wants this commitment with you. They really want to be with you. It's like they want to fix themselves so they can be good enough to have this happily ever after moment with you. Um, well, especially if you're dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio here, guys, I'm telling you, this person is ready. This person is, they're literally going within. They're going within. They could be meditating, okay? Yeah, this person is ready. Like, they have realized, they have realized this is what they want, and it's you, especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius here. They want you, okay? Um, and it's like nobody can replace that feeling. Um, it's like they've tried to replace you many times with different people, with different scenarios, with, like, different friends, okay? They're just trying to get you off their mind. They're realizing nobody can replace you. And they also feel like a lot of people want your attention, Divine Feminine, but they feel like that they're, like, I'm getting an image of somebody, like, being hooked to somebody else. Like, they just feel like they're bound to you, that you're the one, like, you guys are meant to be together. Um, they tried to bring somebody else into the picture, and it didn't work for them, okay? Uh, for someone to find masculine, I feel like they have a tattoo on the back of their thigh. Let me know if they should find masculine, okay? Um... Yeah, so it's like they tried to find you in other people. This person has been meditating, okay, guys? This person has been going within, meditating. They've been researching about this connection. Um, I'm hearing the lion and the lamb. I don't know what that is. Let me know if that resonates, okay? Um, so this person, is, they try to replace you, I'm getting. They try to find you in different people. They're realizing there is no one like you. There's something about you that is so unique that has sparked their feelings like nobody else has. So for some of you, I'm getting that you could be like concentrating more, um, I'm just getting 333, you could be concentrating more on like your family, your friends, okay? It's like you're not really concentrating on the divine masculine at the moment, okay? And they can feel that. They feel like they're in a really dark spot at the moment, but it's like they're going within, okay? They're going within spiritually. It's like they have seen what you've talked about, divine feminine, and they're taking that advice. And I'm getting that they're going within. There's something about this person. They're not very confident, okay, at the moment. They're trying to work on that. They really want to come forward. Um, some of them may be dealing with a karmic that's very selfish, okay? Somebody that only thinks about themselves. They're realizing this, okay? And this person realizes that they've been very selfish towards you. Wow, this person is like running towards you, right? Running towards you. I'm getting this person was running away before, um, but now it's like they're running towards you. Yeah, it's like you keep going around and around in this person's mind. It's like driving them crazy. It's giving them headaches. They know they want to come forward. They want to open up to you. They feel not happy. Like, no matter what they're doing, they don't feel happy because they don't feel like they're opening up and they're being, they're not being themselves. They're not, they're not expressing their true feeling here to you, right? And they feel like, 
they've left a lot of things unfinished, okay? They're scared, they've missed this opportunity. They could have had like three opportunities and they missed all of them because they're scared to open up here, right? Um, so that's all I have for you guys. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.